my name is Helen. I am one of the pharmacists here today. Uh, my technician told me that you had a question for me. Well, I was wondering what the lethal dose of Vicodin was. Well, you don't want to take more than eight tablets a day. Well, what would happen if I took 20? Well, you can get nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, or difficulty breathing, or liver failure. Would any of those kill me? Well, I suppose, but there are other easier ways to kill yourself. Well, I couldn't find my gun. So. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> okay, do you have any other questions for me? Well, no, I got my question answered. Okay, Bye. have a good day. Thanks. Bye. Oh my god, Helen. Look, one of our patients died of a Vicodin overdose. <gasps> yeah, that scenario didn't go very well. No. Yeah, there are so many myths about suicide. Mm -hmm. One of them is about how a lot of people think the people who talk about committing suicide just do it for the attention. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the people who have committed suicide have actually given warnings about their intent. Mm -hmm. And these warnings are should be seen as a cry for help. Mm, right. Yeah. Well, I also heard that um, people think that suicidal people really want to die, but really um, they have distorted thoughts in their head. Mm -hmm. So they think the only way to escape their pain and their suffering is to die. But these thoughts are actually very short-lived, and so if you treat the underlying depression, then you can actually prevent the crisis in the future. And a lot of people also believe that if you were to ask a, a patient about suicide, it would put these thoughts in their head and make them more likely to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. But this is not true at all, and if you were to ask a patient about suicide, it would provide a sense of caring to the patient, and they would then open up to you and tell you what's going on. So it would give you a way to help help the patient. Well, what would you have done in the previous scenario then? In the previous scenario, when the patient asked about a Vicodin overdose, mm -hmm. you could, if you were to, were to ask them about why they asked the question, if they were not suicidal, then they would clarify why they asked the question. Mm -hmm. But if they were suicidal, they would tell you their feelings and what's going on, mm -hmm. and then you, you could end, end up further helping the patient with this problem. That makes sense. You could probably offer them resources too, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right, we'll move on to the right way to handle the situation. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm Hi. the pharmacist here today. My technician said you had a question for me. Well, I was wondering what the lethal dose of Vicodin was. I'm concerned about the reason behind the question. Are you thinking about committing suicide? Well, I just lost my job, and my husband left me after that. And now I have to deal with this back pain. I just don't know if it's worth it anymore. Sounds like you're going through a lot of incredibly difficult situations right now. Well, everything was going fine until I lost my job. Now there's like no reason to live. Yeah, a lot of people are going through really tough times right now. Have you talked to a professional about any of these issues? No. No one will probably listen to me. Well, I have the number for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, and I would really like it if you gave them a call and they would figure out some resources to, to help you out. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to do that for me? Yeah, I guess I could give them a call. Okay, I have a phone in my office and would like it if you went in there and, and used it. That way I make sure that they they uh, take care of you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Sounds good? Yep. That sounds good. Show me the phone. Okay. 